Okay guys, let's take a peek at a, another projector. Hey folks, welcome back to Tech Gooch. And today I have another, well, I wouldn't say it's a portable projector, it's more of an in-home projector, but uh, um, small, lightweight, easily movable projector. This, I, you know, they call it a home theater projector. I always have a hard time calling things a home theater projector when they're not actual HD or better, right? Even 720p, I would say is, but 8, 1080 for sure. Now this has 1080p support, so it does allow the input, but it's only putting out at 800 by 480. So um, lower resolution, and it does show, um, even though you can broadcast at a larger display, um, it does a decent job. I'm going to actually throw it on this wall behind me uh, for this video, which is just a white wall, but it does have some texture to it. Um, if you have a nice clean wall, uh, it's always best. Um, I do have a projection screen that I've been meaning to show as well uh, that I got. It's a portable projection screen. It's 120 inches large. Uh, so keep tuned for that because I'm going to show this uh, projector on that screen as well. Uh, but... Every time I've been trying to do it, it's either raining or um, the well, the weather got really cold. And I really, really want to do well, it. Was forty degrees outside? Now it's in the fifties, but the wind is going crazy. So the weather has not been cooperating lately, or since I've got the actual projection screen. That said, that's coming in a future video. But for the, today's purpose, we're going to show this. Um, in here in the studio. So I'm going to bring it in here. We're going to actually open the box. I've, I've already had this out. I've been using it. I just kind of set it back in the box so you... Yeah, we'll show everything that comes with it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the box. It's the C480 projector from Vivimage. Um, I'm going to put a link at the top of the description. So we'll start off with that. And so you know what the price point is. This is sitting at 80 bucks right now on Amazon. So for the money, not a bad projector. It really isn't. Um, so let's open her up. Gives you instructions in all sorts of languages. This is the projector itself, which I have to say for the cheaper projectors that I've used and, and tested, um, a little bit higher quality feeling, I'll give it that. Does have HDMI port on the side, two USB ports, uh, audio, um, AV in, as well as headphone jack out. So in that order, and I'll show you what that means here in a second. Power button back here. Uh, Non-polarized power cable that plugs in the side, and then touch capability. I don't know how well you can see that with the glare. There we go. You can see the touch controls here on the top. It does come um, with power cable, which just non-polarized standard power cable. It does come with remote control, which is a little dusty because I've had it out for a little while now. Um, all the capability there. It does come with a short HDMI cable, which actually I haven't used. I've been using my 50-foot uh, cable that I tested a few videos ago. Um, so that does come with it. It does come with an AV adapter as well. So that 3.5 millimeter AV port does convert it to the, the standard yellow, red, white RCA composite cables. So that is what comes in the box. Uh, it does come with instructions uh, and all this nice goody stuff as well. Um, so use your manual how to actually use it and do all sorts of good stuff with it. Uh, we are going to throw on some content here. What I'm going to do now uh, in the interim while we wait, uh, I'm going to set the video camera back up back there. Um, I'm going to throw the projector up on the wall. I'm just going to plug in a, a Fire TV stick or something and uh, we'll show you something on the projector. So this is the projector on, uh, on the wall. Um, you're never going to have the highest quality in the world just because in this case this is a, a textured wall here. Um, however, this is seven feet in size, in terms of diagonal size. So size-wise, it's pretty big. Uh, the projector lamp, or the, I should say the, the lens, is about eight feet from the wall, and it's producing a seven-foot image. Now, you're not going to want to go with this projector. You're not, probably the maximum size screen you could do is about an eight-feet diagonal. Anything excuse me, outside of that, you really can't tune in the focusing very well. There is audio in, I'll oh, hit play here. So you'll hear the audio. That's the speaker from the projector. That's not quite max volume. That's max volume. You know, it's not huge, but then again, projectors 
are not known for their quality speakers built in. Um, but I'm not going to show too much because it is a movie that I don't technically own the rights to, right? I own it because I, I watch it, but uh, just to showcase at least the color depth. Now, within the projector itself, I can actually go into the menu, uh, change the temperature of the, uh, the, you know, the colors. Um, let's see here, let's go back. Right, let's go back to menu. Picture mode, we're in standard picture mode. You know, soft, user create, you can adjust it. Your vivid's going to wash out all the blacks. Standard is what I like for the, for the most part. That's You definitely see more detail in the background, but you get a lot more uh, depth of color, depth range with the standard picture mode from what I see. But of course, it's also going to depend on everything. You can change the aspect ratio, and you can increase um, noise reduction. Put it on default for now. So, not to say too crazy amounts, but uh, oh, let's see, let's stop the movie. But that's, you know, oh, I hit the power button on the, road, on the projector, sorry. But that's, you know, what it looks like. And that's, for the quality that you get for a really a 480 projector, it's not bad. It really isn't. Um, and the amount of illuminance that you get out of it is actually impressive for, that, for an $80 projector. That's my personal opinion, at least. So for what it is, it's a, it's a, I think a 2001 uh, contrast projector. I left it on just so you could actually hear it, because uh, that's the noise you're gonna hear while you're actually watching your movie. It's always the bad side of projectors is that they do have fans. Um, not terrible though, in in my opinion. They say 3,500 lumens. I don't know if I agree with that. To be honest, it's not that bright. It's bright. It's not in, is uh, it's definitely brighter than the other cheap projectors I've used before. Um, so I'll give it that. But 3500 is, I disagree. Um, not a whole lot of picture mode capability. It's just, you know, with a 2001 co uh, contrast ratio, it's not the best. But you're also not paying $600 for it. So you got to take it into consideration of how much this costs and what it is. Now, this is more of a take camping kind of projector. Um, you use in dark facility on a white wall kids projector uh kids room throw a big movie you know an, an, an animated movie pretty large it doesn't have to be crystal here you're not gonna be watching 4k for that matter um but it would not be in my case a home theater projector i have a really ha hard time agreeing with that terminology on the box but it is for watching movies so i just have a different mentality when we talk about home theater specifically um for what it is for 79 dollars it's awesome um, and usually they have like little discounts on there as well. So check out the link at the top, head over to Amazon, see if they have a 5% code or something like that right now. Get a little additional off on it. Um, pretty simple in, in terms of its adjustment. You can adjust the um, focusing of it, so how clear, crystal it is or how clear it is. You can also adjust the tilting of the screen. So obviously if you're looking up, you're going to have to adjust the tilt. It's really easy. There's just two th little knobs, one for focusing, one for tilt. Uh, on the projector. That's it. And then there's this little foot um, for raising and lowering the actual uh, projector itself. Um, but aside from that, there's not really anything more. I'd like to have seen uh, more capability of tilting it up um, personally. Um, uh, so that would be one thing. There is a projector, or, uh, so, uh, sorry, a, a tripod mount on the bottom of the projector. So that's definitely a plus as well. So Good remote, um, good audio. To be honest, for the speakers that were in it, it you could a, a kid, you know, put it in there for your kids. It's more than adequate for the most part, um, and easy to access and plug in like a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, what I did is before is I actually plugged like the Fire TV stick or my Apple TV into a soundbar, and then the soundbar to the projector. And then I have really good audio, uh, and that's the nice thing about having a really long HDMI cable as well. So. That said, guys, use that to measure the distance to see how big it was. Um, but for the for what it is, the C480 home theme projector by Vivimage, um, like I said, I'm going to put a link to the, at the top of the description. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video if you could. And, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you back here for another future video review. I'm going to turn the video off, and I might just watch myself a movie. We'll see you later.